so I'm making this video right from my droid phone, and I know it don't look that good, but uh, I didn't want to wait to upload my other video, but you can see that uh, I got Power 95 running, uh, testing out the Phenom X4, then now for the Black Edition, and uh, you see... It's been running for a while. Uh, so this, which is the performance monitor, I don't really need a light on there. But let's see if I can turn it off. Uh, I can't turn it off. Nope, oh, can't turn the light off. Oh well, uh, but there you see. It's at a hundred percent. I mean, your phone works all right. I guess it don't work that good, but anyway. Anyway, this has been running for a while. I just been overclocking and checking the temperatures and stuff. And I want to show you the temperatures right now uh, in the hardware monitor. And these are my temps. As you can see, it's at 68 C's, 154 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, the wattage is 156.60 watts. And the video card, if you want to know about that. I'm trying to hold my phone straight. And hard drives. Voltage. So that's just a brief about this. What I'm doing. I got another video on my camera, which is probably more clear. You can see more. But yeah. It's been running for a while. I'm gonna keep it on to like twelve o'clock tonight, just to see how long it runs. But and it's been on since six something, so it's pretty good. All right, thanks for watching my vid. Uh, like I said, this is my case, which is in my other video, and this is my temperature right now. Uh, I wonder if you can see inside there. That would look probably cool if you could, but you really can't see inside there. And see my wires. All my wiring is mostly phased right here because that's open. I got the Booster X for my video card. Uh, right master, blah blah blah. I just cleaned this fan out. That was super dirty, so dirty I couldn't even stand it. But you can see, I reversed this fan. If you can see, it's reversed to pull the air out. Uh, and then the back one, which is right there, that's sucking the air out. This fan is pointing up. It's actually pulling air up and jetting it out to this fan and then this fan is sucking it out so that's basically my setup I got another fan right here you can see it another fan right there is cut off right now because it's very severely damaged and I'll be changing that fan out soon I'll be changing all these fans out to bigger uh, DC 
type model fans that you actually use for server, which is my server. I have this server, my IBM server, and then I have my other IBM server over here. So it's going to be pretty cool. Yep, that's my little setup that I have going. Soon, all three of them be up and running on this KVM switch, which that cost me a pretty penny, about a hundred bucks. But it works pretty good. It holds up to four computers, so I only need three. So it'd be, it'd be working pretty good. The heat, God dang, the heat coming from here is ridiculous. I mean, that's literally hot. But anyway, my PC is still going. <laughs> Oops, let's switch the screen. No. But let me see, I'll put that back down there. It look better down there. But yep, that's my setup. Uh, hopefully, the temperatures will get better soon. If you see now, it's turning red. Uh, that's the retired instructions. It's doing that. But other than that, everything is passing. The percentage on my uh, CPU and the BIOS is 2% per clock. I did have it at 4, but it wasn't running too good. And then I switched the memory to advanced 600. Uh, PS, I don't know what that is, and the hard drive thing. I mean, not the hard drive, but the CMOS, or whatever, the jumpers. You can switch the memory to whatever per clock cycles or whatever it does. And I know, I know all I know is it made my computer a little bit faster. But, I mean, I had this for a long time. I knew how to use it. I just really didn't use it too much because I didn't really overclock as much. But now I'm getting back into overclocking. And it's a perfect temperature. It's like 90 some degrees outside right now. And I'm in Georgia, so it's real hot here. So it's the perfect time to overclock and just test out what your computer can withstand in temperatures. I mean, most people test out in the cool weather. I test out in the hot weather, so I know that my stuff can last longer. And all that good jazz. I know it can withstand the heat, too. And I only have one fan, as you see, on the heat sink, and this, this uh, that's the Cooler Master Z60 heat sink, and I did have two fans on it, the other fan, the blade cracked, and it was an Aero Cool fan, so I got rid of it. The fan is on it now, it is an Aero Cool fan, but by it not being face upwards where the blades start to sink in, it starts to smack the bottom of the thing, which I noticed with Aero Cool fans, they do do that. It has like a little spacer in it, so look out for that if you buy an Aero Cool fan, because it will start to do that. If you turn it where the, the flat side and the bottom is facing downwards, then the blades will start to smack the uh, other piece that holds the fan together and the wires, where the wires are routed at, it will smack that to death and crack like it does me. And then my Cooler Master fan, they also done the same thing. So now I'm getting more durable fans, which are the DC fans. I don't know if you've seen them before. They got like 3,000 RPMs on it. But I'm going to get uh, the H50 uh, Cooler Master. I mean, uh, is it Cooler Master or is it? No, it's the Cozer H50. My bad. I'm so tired. I've been trying to upload freaking server 2008 on VMware and updates take like three hours so I was up all night loading that stuff up and then it didn't get done to this morning which it was at 98% this morning I'm like wow that's crazy but yeah that's my little setup got the glass table I'm actually going to put some uh, some lights some blue lights around this so it can match my PC so it's going to look pretty tight when I get done with it. Yeah, yep. But yeah, I'm in the process of moving too. So that'll be fine to get my setup 
back up and running. Well, yep, that's it. So, alright, good night. Peace out.